Sarah, my daughter, who just turned 11, has had 13 surgeries um, for one rare thing after another. Ever since 2009, we've been going all the way up to John Hopkins Children's Center in Baltimore for her surgeries, um, just because she had some really rare things that the local doctors couldn't figure out. And um, Matt, who's getting ready to turn 13, he's had nine surgeries. And in the beginning, the first um, four were kind of routine surgeries here and there, but then the last year, he's had five surgeries uh, all up in Baltimore. Daddy. We're a military family and there were times that my, uh, Sarah had surgery that my husband was deployed and that was probably one of the hardest waiting room times where I'm sitting in a waiting room while my daughter has surgery and my husband's on the other side of the world and, and it's hard for me. I can only imagine how hard it was for him on the other side of the world waiting to hear what's going on. I'll never forget in July, you know, Matt had just finished having five surgeries in one year and then he broke his arm this summer and Sarah had had two diagnoses so far and then we went to another doctor's appointment and she gave us another diagnosis. You know, it turned from a very happy appointment that we had some good news that some of the treatments were working to, okay, now this is what that means, so here's some stuff you always need to carry with her that you need to watch out for. And as they were training us on these this different needles and stuff, just to see the look on my kid's face as it all sunk in of what all this really means. Honestly, I always have a Bible in my purse and just open up the Bible and find some there's verses that I've underlined through all their medical stuff and just reread them. Get in the car because, okay, we need to eat lunch and drive back to Virginia and you turn on the radio stations of WGTS and the kids love the songs on there, every single song, so we start singing with them and it just uplifts their spirit. Even if this doesn't turn out the way we want, even if this is Treatment doesn't work, even if, whatever the case may be, I know God, you've got it. You know, and just trusting God no matter what. It's been neat to see different aspects of, well, mine and my husband's faith has grown, but also for my children, to see them encouraging each other and encouraging us. And, um, you know, my daughter, her room is plastered with Bible verses all over the walls and ceiling. And my son, this past year, ever since June, has had to have um, a lung machine that he has to do treatments 20 minutes every morning, 20 minutes every night. And so every day he reads the Bible during those lung uh, treatments. And that's how we get through it. Um, you know, you don't know where the end is. You don't know when we're going to be done having new diagnoses. And at some point you just say, okay, you know what? I don't ask why. I just accept this is the life God's given me. And we're going to always rely on Him. There's no other way that I can have him going through all of it without you know, a strong faith in Christ to get you through it. Um, because if you don't, that's going to break you. With my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul.